In this video, I want to show you how to make a div or a paragraph clickable uh, and give it the push button effect, kind of like this right here. And what you see right there, those are three paragraphs that are turned into buttons. So I'm going to do a div, then I'm going to show you how to do a paragraph. Uh, I will be using a template that I got from HTML5 up. Good place to go get HTML5 responsive templates, but I'm assuming that you, if you're watching this video, you have a site that you are needing to have a clickable div or paragraph on. So let's get started. I put the code at JFiddle, JS Fiddle, and there's a link below uh, where you can go get the code at. So let's get started here again. I'm using a it's just a simple template and we're going to put it underneath all this text here we'll make a button so let's start with a div we'll give it a class of we'll call it push button and we're going to put me to find out more and we're just going to send people to uh, Google when they click it so let's wrap this div in a span first this is what's going to make the whole div clickable is putting a span tag and then an anchor tag so wrap it in a span And by the way, I'm using Dreamweaver. Uh, you can obviously, you can use any code editor you want, even Notepad++ uh, plus plus will work, or just regular Notepad. So let's put an anchor tag. And we're gonna send it to Google. There's the essence of the HTML side of this button. So I'll save that. Just show you quickly that because we haven't added any CSS yet, uh, it's actually clickable now. It goes to Google, but it's not in a button form. So we're going to add some CSS to put into a button form. And I'm going to copy and paste it and go over real quick. Remember to class this push button. And when I'm working on a page, I like to originally put the st uh, CSS styles in the header. And then once I get everything working the way I want, <clears throat> and once I get everything working the way I want, I'll move it over to the style sheet. So I'm going to put the original push button here. And we'll tab it on out, line it up. I like to have this inset just a little bit. So there we go. And what this does is it creates the button look. Uh, given it, I'm doing my widths and percentages uh, because this is a responsive site. However, if you just need a sidebar button, you're probably safe doing up to about 320 pixels in width. Or you can go percentage, either or. Uh, but anyhow, so let's take a look at it, see what it looks like right now. And you'll notice uh, I got it centered here, and let's go over go over to CSS real quick. We give it a width, we give it a background color. White is the color of the text. Uh, a little bit of padding, a border radius. Let's change that to 10 pixels because it's kind of a big button. Uh, so on border radius, if you just set one uh, size, it's going to do all four corners. Margin zero auto is what centers that div up on the page. Give it a font size, a font weight. Uh, margin bottom really doesn't work here. I need to take that out. And I don't need this either. This is from some old code from something else. Alright, so that's it. That's the simple, quick, 
uh, give it the button look CSS. And that's what I have in the, the J fiddle there. So let's uh we need to put a, we're missing the align center, aren't we? So, yeah, I forgot the text align center. This will center up that little message. There we go. So now we want to give it the push button effect and we're going to give it a little hover effect as well. And we're going to do that just with these two simple lines of code here. Tab that one over, get it lined up. All right, put the class push button hover. It's going to change colors, and class push button active. That's when you actually uh, tap on it. It's going to give it the push button effect with that translate Y, and we're going to do four pixels. So let me just show you what that looks like. Refresh here. So that's the hover, and that's the active, and now it's going to Google. And to uh, show you the how to do it, if you want to do it a paragraph instead of a div, it's real simple. As simple as changing. Where am I at? Changing the uh, div to a paragraph tag. And you'll see it's going to look the same here. And it's still going to click. And that's all there is to it. But anyhow, remember the JFiddle link to the code is in the description area of this video. And I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.